Hi, this is Kenny Bobble on the set of The Bill and Ted Show. This part of the production diaries is about street and show construction. And here to tell us about show construction is scenic designer Kim Grom. This here is the arrival stage. We're in the process of working on this stage right now. We're 26 feet high. As you can see out here, when you're out in the middle of a park, what you want to do is you want to get grander. You want to get size. You want to get height. And the way I like to design a stage is I like a lot of levels, a lot of layers. This is the first thing you'll see when you come into Halloween Horror Nights. This is our opening moment. This is our welcome to Halloween Horror Nights 16. If you take a look at this thing, it's huge, it's enormous. What we wanted to do is give you a larger than life opening moment. So what we've got right there now is we've got a scenic crew. They're a company we hired out and we designed what the look is and they've come in and they're doing what the, uh, the look of the stage is. They're putting the brick on and they're putting the drapes. They're making wooden stairs look like marble. Then the other crew you might see up there is our set dressing crew. They're adding the little detail that makes it come alive. They're, for the storyteller, they're putting things into the book shelves that the storyteller might have. Uh, books, little jar, mason jars full of fingers. So that's kind of the areas you're going to see when you see this, this uh, set. And to tell us about street construction, we have scenic designer Mary Nessler. Well, right now we are in the scare zone called Harvest of the Souls. It is one of three scare zones that we've done. The challenge for this one was that we were trying to take existing architecture and space and make it work during the daytime to feel like the atmosphere of Halloween without the scares but then at night make it feel much more frightening and much more ominous. So it was quite a challenge to make all of that come about. We actually started this scare zone about three weeks ago. And that's nine months of preparation, three, mo uh, three weeks of install. All of the install has to be done at night because we don't want to impact our guest experience during the day. It's normally a crew of between three and five people. We have a design book, but a lot of it is improvised in the field, and that's what makes it really fun are the surprises, the things that you go, gosh, I could put that there, and that would really make the zone more exciting. We also work very closely with operations because all of the exterior zones have to accommodate our guests during the day and not impact the um, rides and shows for their enjoyment. But all in all, um, it's just a big group of people having fun.